Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Genshin Impact. In the last episode, we talked with Yaimika and we did her training, which did not go so well. We kind of failed. Mind? Do not interrupt me, girl. I'm not in the mood for it today. So, we, we did her training to try to beat the Raiden Shogun, you know, it was like, it didn't go well, I was very bad at it, and afterwards anyways, yeah, I was just like, yeah, no, she kind of figured we wouldn't stand a chance against her anyways, and it was just like, seriously, but she has another plan, and so we came back to the shrine, she had us meet with Kujo Sara, we told Sara that we had evidence that basically it was all corruption plan to trick the Shogun, this, that, and that basically everyone was betraying her. And so we have three days to gather evidence, and so Yaimika said she we need the professional's help, so we need to go see who is this professional. And so that's pretty much where we left off. So yeah. Remember to like the video if you like it, and subscribe if you want to see more. But without further ado, let's get right to it. So we need to go to Chinju Forest. Which looks like that we have all the teleport points, so this should be quick and easy. So who is this professional that she speaks of? Ah, I think I know. Aha! Hehe, <laughs> it's Sayu. That toy Tanuki just turned into a human! <sighs> What's going on? Paimon's never seen one of these before! Mm, not a Tanuki. I'm a Mujina. <sighs> I'm so tired. If I don't get enough sleep, it'll stunt my growth. Um, is this the professional you were talking about? <laughs> she doesn't look very professional at all. <laughs> she is a member of the Shiumatsuban, a genuine bona fide ninja. Oh, wow, a ninja? So was that one of those legendary ninja transformation techniques? Uh, anyway, what's the Shiumatsuban? It belongs to the Yashiro Commission, a secret unit under Kamisato Ayato. Now, Kamisato Ayato and the Yashiro Commission are neutral parties, so I have no right to give orders to the Shiumatsuban. However, convincing their most chronically lazy member to help us is well within my abilities. Uh -huh. Here's what I need you to do. Go into town and find evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. It would not be appropriate for me to be seen there myself. You make it sound so simple, but... I have no idea what I'm looking for. Hmm? Oh, I thought you would have figured it out by now. All right then. I'll indulge you with a little more information. For a complete outsider, probing the inner workings of the Tenryo Commission is nigh on impossible. But since the three commissions work together to serve the Shogun, they have a close relationship. Someone from one of the other commissions might have an easier job of figuring out what they're up to. The Yashiro Commission. Yeah, I still have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> now you're following me. The Shogun's army haven't given up on their search for you yet, but with the help of this Shiu Matsuban ninja, I'm sure you'll be able to rendezvous with your friends. Don't forget, we're on a tight schedule here. Be sure to bring back the evidence in good time. Okay, which one is the Yashiro Commission? Is that the one that uh, Toma and Ayaka work for? Like, that's their their commission. See, that's my problem. Is I get so confused with all the different commission names. I'm just like, wait a minute, which one are you again? So, okay, then I think I understand. Because I was like, I was really confused. I was just like, I, are we friends with one of the commissions? Then I was just like, wait, is that the commission that Ayaka and Toma are? And then I was like, yeah. At least I think that's what it is. Because it says to go to the Komori Tea House. So, yeah, I think that's what the plan is. Okay, cool. So that makes more sense. We're going to use the one commission that isn't traitorous and that actually, you know, knows us and, you know, knows that we're not bad or that we didn't, uh, we're not criminals or whatever. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Tomori Tea House. Toma! Toma! You there? Hello? Friends, Toma! Back. There you are. Man, it feels like we haven't been here in forever. Did you meet with the Resistance? How's the battle going? Is it safe for me to come out yet? Not just yet. We saw people patrolling on our way here. So, it's still not over. I guess you came here because you have something to discuss? 
I'll get someone to call for Miss Kamisato. Bear with me for one second. I see. You have been through a lot since we last met. I understand. You need evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Let me think. Now that you mention it, there is one thing that has always concerned me. The Shogun's army has been at war with the Resistance for a long time now, but not once has the Shogun ever inquired about it. I used to think that she simply didn't care, but looking at it now, perhaps the problem all along has been with the Tenryo Commission's reports to the Shogun. Uh, what do you mean? The Tenryo Commission presides over domestic military affairs. If they ever had any intention of concealing information in their reports, we would have no way of knowing. Meanwhile, the Shogun would incorrectly conclude that the Vision Hunt decree poses no threat and would stick to her decision. If we had access to their reports, it would confirm everything. But as I recall, the only person authorized to access that kind of official documentation is Kujo Takayuki. It's heavily guarded too. Even with Sayu's help, swiping a document from under their noses is no easy task. If only there was a way we could distract the guards just for long enough. Hmm. A distraction, you say? I'm thinking Yoimiya. Uh, Yoimiya's fireworks! That's a very Toma-sounding suggestion. But it's a reasonable one. The statue of the Omnipresent God is right by the Tenryo Commission. If someone set off fireworks near the statue, they certainly wouldn't ignore it. While they were preoccupied with that, Sayu could infiltrate the Tenryo Commission and take the report, as well as any other evidence she might find. Great! It feels like I'm getting closer and closer to being a free man again. Ah. <sighs> It feels like it's been an eternity since we last sat down and talked like this. It has not been quite that long. Maybe like a week, I think. We've been gone for like a week, right? Because Kokomi said it was a few days since we've been there at one point. Then the training with Yaimiko probably took like another day, but we have three days for Sara's thing, which I don't think it started yet. So yeah, it's probably been like maybe a week. Maybe two. Well, it certainly felt like it to me. I've been looking forward to seeing you again every day since I got here. This tea house used to be my favorite hiding place, but now I've honestly lost track of how long it's been since I last set foot outside of here. Oh man, I want to go to the hot springs so badly. Uh, poor Toma. Let's focus on the issue at hand. The sooner the Vision Hunt decree is abolished, the sooner Toma will be free. This was a reunion of sorts, but there's no time to catch up. We'll celebrate properly when it's all over. Ooh, let's play the hot pot game again. You're still thinking about that? The Tenryo Commission is heavily guarded. Be careful when you get near. Let's meet back here afterwards. All right. First, let's go to Hanamizaka to find Yoimiya. Yeah, we're getting the old band back together. Gonna go blow some stuff up. Always makes for a fun time, right? Whoa, I was like, why am I singing to the floor? I didn't realize that that was a... That's actually really cool. Is this a normal thing? Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Sorry, I just, I think that's a really cool concept, how the, the table is sunken into the floor in order to have the table be at level with the seats and everything. Oop, that's not the way out. This is the way out. That's really cool. Okay, so now we need to go talk to Yoimiya. Luckily, they're not making us, like, sneak around the city. That would be so annoying. I'm just standing out right in the open. Yoimiya! I need some boom boom! Wee! Wee! Drop. And roll. Hello! Yoimiya! We need an extra large firework! The super duper big kind! Extra large firework? <laughs> you sure came to the right person! As it happens, I made this really souped up one just a couple days ago. But it's so powerful that I haven't found anywhere I can test it out yet. Huh, may as well give it to you. Let me know how it turns out. 
Don't forget, move well away from it after you light the fuse, and uh, try to avoid burning your clothes. Also, it's best that you cover your ears. Uh, uh, why does Paimon feel so nervous all of a sudden? <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a firework, come on! What's the worst that could happen? We'll give it a try! Thanks, Yaimiya! Well, we okay, yeah, I feel Paimon on that one. After that description, it. it's like, okay, this sounds less like a firework and more like an actual explosive. <laughs> oh, we gotta wait till the evening. Ooh, I got some achievements. What do we got? Oh, just five pretty much gem star, and I was hoping for quite a bit more. Uh, timer. Time? Uh, we gotta wait till midnight. We're just gonna stand in town square for 12 hours. <laughs> Do 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 Perfect. Oh no, that cat saw us. Kujo Kamachi is busy completing what? What was that? Wait, I can't do this one because Kujo Kamaji is busy completing the Chisato's letter quest. Are you serious? Oh, I hate that that's a thing. So you can't do that quest until we do the Chisato's letter quest. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't blame them for it because they don't want duplicates of char characters walking around because then, it, you know, it kind of you, takes you out of that. The war oh, no. what? Really? Oh, gosh. Please do not tell me I'm, like, locked out. Oh, gosh. That would be absolutely horrible if I'm, like, locked out of the quest. No, I can't be. I mean, there's like hundreds. Whoa, these guys Stop. are everywhere. I was floating midair. Really? These guys are everywhere, dude. Like, look at this. There's like hundreds of these guys. Wait, that's Kujo Kamaji. Isn't that the guy I need? Uh, here's just Hato's letter. This letter did Mr. Ragi really ask you to deliver this to me? Yeah. Yep, really is her. Thank goodness. Thank you for making this trip, Traveler. As for the travel permit, as it's Mr. Ragi's personal request, I will naturally see it through. However, I'll need some time to prepare. How about this? Can you wait for me at the Kimun Kiminami restaurant? Why do you want to go there? Well, I want a small favor from you. Of course he does. Recently, I was also thinking of sending somebody to Miss Hiragi. I read a letter and also requested Miss Kiminami to make some treats for me. I was planning to send them together to Miss Hiragi. Oh, I had autoplay on. I was like, why is it still going? Um, but if my father finds out about the plans, he might be upset just as pondering what to do. You showed up. It's only a present. My father doesn't want me to communicate with Miss Hiragi. I understand his concerns. After all, I'm a member of the Kujo clan and one of the enforcers of the Tenryo Commission. Miss Hiragi is the only lady of the Kanjo Commission's Hiragi clan. If I were to get too close to her, it would be inevitable that someone might try to take advantage of our situation. And there's only a present in some people's eyes, it's a lot more than that. <laughs> Let's not talk about these trip wheel matters. Traveler, please wait at the Kiminami rest. After I approve the traveler permit, I'll bring it to you. So, is he still busy? Yep, he is still busy, so I can't do this stupid quest. All oh, because he's still busy. Okay. Oh, that's weird. It was telling me to go into the building over there, but yet he was waiting down here by the road. I, yeah, I think I kind of glitched the quest out a bit. I probably don't want to be seen by the guards, though. Uh, where's this restaurant? I was really hoping to just set off my firework. We're probably going to end up having to wait again. Because the time is probably going to pass away. Where is this restaurant? Wow, it is way down there. I thought it was up in this stretch. Oh. All of this over a stupid letter. Just go let me set off my explosives. Uh, oh, I guess I just need to talk to her. Welcome to Kiminami Restaurant, about Kamaji's treats. Oh, I've already prepared the treats that Master Kamaji ordered, I'll bring them to you now. But I'm curious about who Master Kamaji will give these treats to. It's nothing more than a public relations gesture, Mr. Kiminami. Well back, Miss Hiragi Mr. Hiragi Shinsuke presented my father with a batch of fine tea. Father knows that Mr. Hiragi's beloved daughter Chisato likes treats, so he told me to prepare some as a gift in return. 
I was worried that the delivery might take too long, and there might also be unavoidable bumps during the journey, so I specifically asked for this traveler's this traveler to deliver them. Miss Kibinami, can I have a look at the treats, please? I want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Mm, sure, here are the treats. Please take a look. Everything is here. Everything is there. Thank you, Miss Kiminami. Let us move out of the way, Traveler. I have a few more things to say to you. This is the travel permit. Please take it. With this travel permit, you can freely enter and leave retail. Like, <laughs> kind of already freely lift. Like, yeah. Anyways, thank you, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. This permit will make your delivery a lot smoother. Also, here's the letter. Did you write this letter yourself? Yes, I tried to write this letter in a tactful manner. I hope Miss Hiragi won't be offended by it. Please deliver this letter and the treats to Miss Hiragi. Do we have to go back again? <laughs> but this time you have the travel permit. You should have a lot more freedom than before. I'll leave it to you, Traveler. I also need to go back and deal with official matters. Uh, when will I be able to get there? My go there myself? Okay. Now he should be cleared up so I can go blow up the statue. <laughs> right? Yeah, now I can do that. We'll, we'll do the letter quest later because I don't even- Does he even get that good of a reward? And yeah, it's not like that great. We do need to finish it anyways, like for other stuff later, but I'm not too worried about doing it now. Okay, the statue should still be late enough where we could go blow up the statue. You! Whoa, really? Why does the teleport point put me right next to someone where if I turn around, I get grabbed? It seems kind of unfair. <laughs> okay, we're short enough we could just go under here. This seems like kind of a, you know, bad thing on their part. They have all this stuff under here that someone could easily get under and walk through. No guards or anything. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Pretty much how I thought. There are loads and loads of people. If one of them spots me, I'll get caught. We need to get rid of them, or I won't be able to sneak inside. We'll just have to trust you, Amiya, then. After I get the document, let's meet back at Komari Tea House, okay? Also... If I do get caught, please come rescue me. Is this really a good idea? Uh, anyway, let's make our way to the statue. Careful does it. Watch out for guards and don't get caught. Yeah, easier said than done considering I've been caught like 20 times now. Okay, where is the point? Okay, there's where we need to go set off the fireworks. Oh, not too bad. Oh. Seriously, it just turned over. I was just barely too late. This sucks. I gotta wait, like, super long now. Oh, I'm just waiting under this, like, a statue for, what, almost 24 hours now? Well, it's minus the five that it was, so, like, 19 hours? Yeah, 19 hours. Just waited 19 hours underneath this thing. Okay, again. Oh, are you... Do we gotta do the talk with Sayu all over again? Better not be. Really? This is so stupid. This quest is like glitching out. Yeah, we just got unlucky. We're, we're, we're fine. We got five hours now. Okay, let's see. We should be good to go if we just kinda... Whoop. Sneaky, sneaky. Doop, 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 and boom. Uh, yeah, that was. To the tea house. <laughs> you are officially nuts. I mean, what the heck? You. The war. Oh come on! I wasn't. It. I was behind a rock. There's no way he should have seen me. I'm going this way. Should have just went this way in the first place. Uh oh, they're all coming this way. Quick, and we're fine. Ha! Huh. I cheated. <laughs> that was a really big explosion, though. My controller was going nuts. Oh, hi guys. Just standing here, staring at nothing. Well, how did it go? We lit the firework and ran away. Well done. Let's wait for news from Sayu. <sighs> I know exercise helps you grow, but this was a little too much exercise. I 
feel so dizzy. Everyone is spinning. No, I can't sleep yet. There was something important I was supposed to do first. Oh, right, yeah, I got it. I didn't know how to find a document you guys were talking about, so I just swiped a whole bunch of stuff that looks suspicious. Here you go. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. My lady, what are we looking at? This sealed envelope must be an official report that the Tenryo Commission is preparing to present to the Shogun. In addition, we have... correspondence with the Fatui. It seems that Gujiyaya was right. They have been fomenting unrest behind the scenes. This should be ample evidence. Please take them to Gujiyaya. I trust she will have a plan for the next step. I will also gather some people to try and root out the rest of the Fatui and Inazuma. Still, mind yourself when you face the Shogun. I still get goosebumps just thinking about her trying that blade. <sighs> Again, we'll just have to trust Gujiai. She is close to the Shogun, so maybe she will have a way. Uh, if Paimon remembers correctly, it should be time for our meeting with Yaimiko soon. Let's pack up our things and get ready to head to the Grand Narukami Shrine. I mean, technically, with all the waiting we did, it has probably been, like, three days of me just waiting in the middle of the city, right? Uh, this way's the exit. Okay. So let's go give her evidence and see what Sara has to say. She's probably gonna be pissed, considering how devoted she is to the Shogun. She's probably not gonna be happy about the fact that we found all this evidence saying that, yeah, no, the, it, it's corrupt to the core. Lady Guji, here I am, as promised. Rest assured, I came here alone, and told no one about this trip. I knew you would keep your promise after all. I'm sure you've barely been able to take your mind off it these past few days. Have you managed to get any sleep at all? I... I... You're quite mistaken. I would never doubt the leaders of my clan. So, where is your proof? Right here. Ah, how wonderful. Everyone's keeping their promises today. Oh, you wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get our hands on this stuff! Hand them to Sara. She can examine them for herself. What is this? I see this document bears the official seal of the head of the Kujo clan. And it okay, the autoplay like is gonna keep going, so I'm just gonna... I don't you can understand. pause if you want to read it, and here we go. Not a single word about the resistance, Sangonomiya, or the situation on the front line. What about the soldiers who gave their lives on the front line? Or the hardship endured by the people? Do they deserve no mention? Utter disregard for human life. Why would they want to hide it? For the sake of the vision hunt decree, of course. Don't you think the Shogun might reconsider her policy if all of the things you just mentioned appeared in this report? So, the Tenryo Commission... They are deliberately deceiving the Shogun? Yes. Now. Who else do you think might be benefiting from the Vision Hunt Decree? I also have a confidential letter here. This is a letter from the Tenryo Commission to the Fatui! The head of the Kujo clan kept this a secret from the Shogun too! <sighs> well, the things you wanted to see but also wished not to see are here before you. Surely, you aren't planning to turn a blind eye to them? So everything I've ever held on to, it's all... How could they? Ugh! This betrayal is unforgivable! Takayuki, you've got some explaining to do! Kujo Sara seems pretty angry, huh? Looks like our Tenryo Rebellion is successfully underway! If we follow her, we might meet the Raiden Shogun. Yep, yep! Let's catch up with her! Hold on, Traveler. There's something else we need to discuss. Huh? Last time you entered the Plain of Euthymia, it was in front of the statue of the Omnipresent God, correct? Correct. You must find a way to recreate the circumstances of that day. If you can get the Raiden Shogun to open her heart to you once more before the statue of the Omnipresent God, 
You will have the opportunity you need. I will do my best then. Take this with you as a farewell gift. What is it? The Omamori from the Grand Narukami Shrine are very potent indeed. I thought I'd put one aside for you. I will treasure it. <laughs> if you find yourself at your wit's end, take it out and see what happens. Maybe your prayers will be answered and all your problems will disappear in the blink of an eye. Or if you ever think about me during your journey, take it out, won't you? Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up appearing right in front of you. Cut it out, Fox Lady! This isn't the time or place to be poking fun at the Traveler! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well then, time for you to face my hopeless fool of a friend. I'm counting on you. Poor Kujo Sara, she looked devastated, which I don't blame her. Basically, her entire everything and her adoptive family, they just... Yeah. That is a betrayal... Sh yeah. But cool, so our next thing is we get to go take on the ride in Shogun. Wow. I don't remember the story going this fast, but then again, I think it's because you had to wait for a lot of the updates. But yeah, we are like nearing the end of the ride in Shogun story, I think. So, yeah, cool. Soon we'll be able to leave Inazuma, but of course we have all these side quests here. And it's going to be a while before we do Sumeru because we got some other stuff we want to do. But we're going to go ahead and end this episode here, though, before we go into the big epic battle. Do not have enough for a wish, sadly. Or, you know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to buy one of these. Haha. -ha. Let's see what happens. We'll do one wish to end off the episode. Okay, come on. Ayato. And nothing. Sorry, guys, but oh well. Again, all building up to that pity. It's all worth it. Every little bit helps. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to go take on the Raiden Shogun and her army. So, and hopefully Sarah backs us up. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Hopefully she backs us up in this whole thing. But I also, she seemed to kind of, you know, she was on a mission to take down, uh, she said Takayaki. Is that, is that her adoptive father? Maybe? I'm not sure. What they say is true. But, shh, don't over talk me. But anyways, I'm kind of rambling at this point. I'm really excited. I've. Like I said, I have done this part in my own playthrough, on my own uh, personal account and everything, but it was so long ago I don't really remember too much of it, but I do remember that this upcoming fight was like one of my favorite fights and cutscenes and all that stuff, so I'm really excited for what's coming up, so can't wait. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!